Welcome back to Supply Chain Systems Production Scheduler. Today we're going to talk about safety stock. Safety stock is our third line in our models and it's used to help trigger when production should start. Now if you notice, I'll take one of the cells here, we're making a reference back with our VLOOKUP to our parameter sheet and the parameter sheet holds settings by product where we can adjust individual products to have different safety stock levels. Now what I mean by that is if we look at that sheet we'll go there and the highlighted in red is the one that we're currently working on so our safety stock is our days of forward coverage. So in this particular case we're using 13 days of forward coverage. Basically what that means it looks 13 days in advance of what the demand is going to be over that period of time and it calculates a minimum level based upon that. Now what does that mean? You know you could look at that as in terms of an absolute number but days of forward coverage will actually vary depending on what the next week's or the next couple weeks demand is going to be. So that means the safety stock level will calculate dynamically for every week looking forward in time from that point forward. So it's a better way of looking at because if you have increased demand now it's, it's preloading the amount that you're going to be needing and making sure that you have adequate time in order to produce it, ship it, or whatever in order to account for lead times as well as variability in our demand and our supply. Try to keep in mind that the primary reason for safety stock is to have uh, extra inventory to protect against having fluctuations in your demand, your forecast being inadequate or supply can get disrupted and in those cases you want to have adequate inventory to cover for that. So we have two different scenarios for having safety stock but I'm adding a third one here to account for the actual lead time of making the product. Now obviously if you're doing network planning what will happen is you may start to stock out of some of your warehouse locations but not all the locations if you start to be the dip below your safety stock. So all you're doing is potentially jeopardizing your customer service level. So let's look back at it again here. So notice every time we're touching the red line here which is our calculated safety stock that's when production is being planned when we use the automatic scheduler let's take out a couple of these just to illustrate it again here alright we're dipping down below our safety stock and actually stocking out now we're going to schedule again and notice where it places the production schedules it's placing them just when it's hitting that safety stock so in essence it's serving for the purposes of the, the scheduling algorithm as a trigger for uh, initiating a production schedule to make more of this particular product. Not looking at anything else other than that. It's just saying that's when we need to have it made. On that date or before, otherwise it may actually be made uh, too late to be able to meet all the production requirements. So if we take the same number, for example, and we move it over one week, it's not horrible, but you can see what happens is that we dip into it a little bit, but this isn't a major consequence here. So if this was to slip one week, it would not be a big deal. But, you know, as you go further out in time, the further you dip into it, if you were to wait even longer, you're, you're going further and further into the hole. So it depends on the, the overall demand that's on your inventory and the percentage of inventory that's actually being consumed every week. Okay, that's about it for today. I wanted to give you a sense of you know, how the safety stock is being used. 
and um, next time we'll talk a little bit more about